Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And this is the lineup for Millwall. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre halves. So keep an eye out for that. And the game begins. And he keeps going. Can he put it away? And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And players waiting in the centre. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. Who can they pick out? Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. And players waiting at the far post. Well, the danger is still there. And in the end, no damage done. And space to attack. Giving them a different option by moving in field. And danger still. Off the post back in play well had that gone in the game was firmly in their hands now though they've got to make sure they don't let this slip and a throw in forthcoming this could square the game and that's exactly what has transpired now that could be a massive turning point and momentum is with them 
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Promising possession, this. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Who can he pick out? And the danger is averted. To jump in front. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a player he is. Well, they've decided to make a change. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Well read to ease the pressure. Per Schuers. The ball with Podens. Read it well. This is the message from Owen Kennedy. Owen, happy birthday from my friend Jonathan Fish. Well, possibilities inside the box. It might still be problematic. A routine save. Podence. Canelo now. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Scott Malone. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Well, possession seeded. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, let's see what they have. And well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Podence. Well, rule two have taken up an illegal position only just. So almost at half time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, it's been a good first half so far, and they've been the better side, certainly going forward. They now just need to keep playing with intensity right up to the break. And a goal update to bring you from the Queen's Park Rangers game. Let's find out exactly what. Here's Alex. It's a goal for Luton Town. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space and it was a beautiful headed finish. It's now 1-0 with 37 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex.
Poor pass. Ryan Leonard. Really good interception. Alexis Canelo. A glorious chance. Excellent block. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. <laughs> Playing it in. This looks promising. Well, it's all good so swimmingly for them here another goal and now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes well here it is again and the way they've been playing that was always going to happen they've certainly been piling on the pressure here The first half here comes to an end. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart, and giving the defenders headaches. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Bradshaw. Well, that's a foul and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Oh, good strike! And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Fleming. Can he open them up here? Oh, a smart stop. Well, Derek, this has been a really good performance, as you can see. They've created numerous chances, they're winning the game comfortably, and they could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. Well, no stopping him. And possession given away. Not a great pass. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. And something has happened at the Kayan Prince Foundation Stadium. Exactly what? Let's find out from Alex. Yep, it's the goal for QPR. The goalkeeper did all he could, but... Opportunity! A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike.
not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And a goal has gone in in the Derby County game, but who has scored it? Alex Scott can tell us. It's a goal for Bournemouth. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. It's now 1-0 with 59 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Cuts it back. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Right, in the Stoke City game, a goal to update you on. Alex? It's a goal for Stoke City. It's now 1-0 with 64 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And players waiting at the far post. And still dangerous. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. Delighted that you're with us and hope very much you'll join us for this match coming up. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Ryan Leonard. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Into the final 20 minutes. And a goal update to bring you from the Derby County match. Alex Scott has the information for us. It's a goal for Derby County. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 72 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Well, the hosts, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Promising sequence. Corner given. So making the substitution now. So the corner played into the box. Well, no damage done. And he's taken it away. Just looking ahead to another game coming up for you from the Championship live on EA TV. It's Millwall facing Bournemouth. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, can they be creative from here? Throw-ins given. Well, they've decided to make a change. Committed challenge. And there to intervene. It looks promising. The cross is on. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. And he's won the ball. 
Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Oh, he's through and go here, Derek. On his own with only the keeper to beat, but he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. And the press is on. Fleming. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. It might be. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Well, they have it again. Cuts it back. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.